Hey guys, it's Max from Penji, and in this video I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how locations work on our Penji grid, which is kind of similar to Pac-Man. In Penji, we consider each square on our grid a specific location that we can reference using a system of rows and columns. So for example, the square where the fish is located on this map would be in row 1, column 3, and the square of this fish would be in row 6, column 6. So what are rows and columns exactly? Well, rows run left to right across the grid. And here, we'd have two rows of fish. Differently, columns run the height of the grid and run up and down. Here we'd have three columns of fish. To remember this, you can think of the mnemonic rows left to right, columns height, as rows run across the grid and columns up and down the grid. And if you apply this terminology to the fish we have here, we could say that there are two rows and three columns of them that altogether make a special grid just like the one we use on our Penji maps. Now looking back to the original Penji map, we can see something cool happening. As you mouse over a tile, you can see its location in rows and columns and also what's contained there. However, something is fishy in this tile. What do you think are the row and column of the fish in this square? Zero, zero. That's right, Python considers zero the first number, not one. So our first row is row zero and first column, column zero. So the location of this fish would be set as row zero, column one, or expressed as the ordered pair zero, one. And the location of this fish would be row three, column three, or the pair three, comma three. Try thinking of where the fish at four, one would be located. It'd be in row 4, column 1, or this position here. Now how about the fish at 0, 9? Well, like we said before, the row would be 0, or the first row, and the column 9, the last column, or this position here. Now just to wrap up, I want to remind you guys that no experienced programmer goes around the world knowing everything about Python, or Java, or any other language. They use programming tools to help them figure things out. In this case, remember the tool we've given you, the Penji Interactive Grid. If you're unsure of the row or column of a tile, you can just mouse over it and find that information easily. And ultimately, remember to experiment. Try things out and see if they work. Successful programming will always involve experimentation and most of the time, learning how to make things better when they've gone wrong. Now go on with your Penji assignments and refer to this video if you have trouble. Have fun coding and thanks for watching.